right, there you see the matchup. Long awaited for the UWF Sports Channel Championship, that $100,000 belt. Bam Bam Bigelow, Dr. Death, here's the introductions from Frankie. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event of the evening. One ball with a 60 minute time limit for the Sports Channel Television Championship. Here he comes, weight 395 pounds. From Asbury Park, New Jersey, this is Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bam Bigelow, all 400 pounds of him. Hey, he looks like he's ready too. I mean, he, he's ready to go to war. This is going to be some bout. Definitely has a new outfit too. He is ready, Bruno. The fire is ready. And his opponent, the roughest, toughest man in wrestling today, Dr. Death, Steve Williams, coming down the aisle right now, getting cheered on by the crowd, 285 pounder from Lakewood, Colorado, former football star, tremendous athlete, here fighting for that championship belt to become the first ever UWF champion, and here they're scrounged off in the middle of the ring, Dr. Death and Bam Bam Bigelow. The round one move past Wild Thing Ray in a wild matchup and went to the finals because of the double DQ between Morocco and Gordy. That's how he got here. Bam Bam over Koloff, then over De Beers, and then in a DQ over Cactus Jack. That's how he moved Ladies on into the tournament. Before we get this match started, I'd like to introduce you and introduce you to two people. One, one person and one item. This is the founder and president of the Universal Wrestling Federation, Herb Abrams, who is bringing out this $100,000 Sports Channel Television Championship belt that in only a few moments, Dr. Death Steve Williams and Bam Bam Bibbo will be going after. And here comes Herb Abrams, founder of the UWF with that incredible belt and what this thing is all about. Herb giving a handshake to the two opponents. Bigelow not interested. Bigelow hits Herb Abrams and now here they go. Williams blocking Bigelow. Abrams get out of there. He did. Close line by Bigelow. We are underway for the Sports Channel Championship. Fasten your seatbelts at home. We've Boy, got him fastened here at ringside. That was nice to Bam Bam Bigelow. He didn't even allow Herb Abrams to probably uh, introduce that belt here. And he, uh, Grab them, but anyway, the match is not going to really start at some kind of a pace. And what a dive by Bam Bam Bigelow against Williams on that buckle. And Williams, no question about it, he's feeling after a fact of that tremendous, tremendous blow. Great splash by Williams Bam Bam is hurt, Bigelow. and Bam Bam is, is hesitating right now. That's a mistake because Williams comes back, he's, he's got great recuperative powers. Bigelow with a right hand to Dr. Death, Steve Williams. You are watching the main event of the beach brawl. And at stake is the Universal Wrestling Federation Sports Channel Championship. After a long elimination tournament, these two competitors have gotten there, and obviously Dr. Death has been hit in the forehead, and he is bleeding. I early think it's in the above match. his eye. I think he got his eye right above the eye there, and that's where the blood's coming from. And he's must have a pretty good gash because look at it. And of course, you see Bam Bam Bigelow. He sees that, and now he's really going after it. You know, to figure that hey, you got the matter. And it happened so early in the match, and that's that's a problem. Oh, oh my! What a close line! Look at that. Bam Bam Bigelow just as 400 pounds just did a back somersault, bro. Bruno, I have never seen a more effective clothesline than the one Williams just landed on Bam Bam Bigelow. A 400 pounder, he somersaulted him in the air and knocked him down, nearly breaking him through the canvas. What a clothesline by Dr. Death. With the blood in his face, no less, dripping into his eyes, down his nose, into his mouth, and all over his body. Dr. Death now going to work on the forehead of Bigelow. And he is bloodied up Bam Bam. Oh gosh. He has ripped open a gash on the forehead of Bigelow. And he takes a shot right in that very spot. Another shot. Bigelow is bloody. And this battle for the belt 
is a battle of blood as well. They're both bloody bad, and they both are going after the other man's wound, and that's what the... Uh, oh, Steve Williams is really going after that, that cut, and he's really, really giving some tremendous shots. And you can see, Bruno, the blood is dripping into the eye of Bigelow. And you just... Oh, another close line by Williams. Man. Williams determined to win this belt. Obviously, so is Bigelow. Both fine wrestlers, Ashley known. What a drop kick by Steve Williams. I'll tell you what, Bam Bam doesn't go down for drop kicks, but if he would have moved that corner, he would have gone down because Williams really caught him hard. But there we go. He headbutts him. Another headbutt on Williams. Dr. Death, who normally will rely on a lot of powerful moves to defeat his opponent has uh, given up about 100 pounds, turned around. I don't think that's going to do in this kind of match. But you're going to have to see. We've already seen a couple of amazing moves, and they have not done the trick. It's going to be something special, I think, to win this match. Well, the thing that happened here is that Williams got caught early, and he got that cut above his eye, and that was definitely just disadvantage. However, he was able to hurt Bam Bam Bigelow, so now they're even again because they're both. Neither one of them has clear vision because the blood went into the eye. But they're really battling hard here. Yeah. I thought Frank E's in a pre match interview is very candid. As you look at Williams now, not where he wants to be in the top of Big Bill. Oh. Big Bill takes it with a crisp in the air. Drop. A... He may cover him here for the championship. No. No. Kicks out. Williams kicked out. Bigelow saying he would have lots of surprises. Williams saying he would have no surprises. Nothing up his sleeve. The motivation. Williams saying. He knows excitement's in the air when he stands in the ring. He, that he's on top of the world. He's already all Japan. He's going to win the belt. Bigelow saying the title enough to motivate him, as well as the money, shooting for cash, and making the big bucks for the champion. Bigelow throws down Williams. You know, you try and size up a matchup, but at this point, really tough to tell. Look out, the big splash over the rope. A 400 pounders on top of Williams. And he nearly put him away there, but couldn't do it. I'll tell you what, I've seen Bam Bam Bigelow use this maneuver a number of times. This is the first time I've seen somebody actually kick away from him. To so this credit, Williams was able to get away from the tremendous blow that he just took from Bam Bam Bigelow. And, uh, hey, these guys came to fight, and they both came to win that title. And I'll tell you what, they're both after it, and they're both going to keep fighting hard till one of these two guys, I think. Uh-oh, front face lock. Is he going to give it to you? He did! Hey, this could very well be it right here. He got him right there. Bigelow landed the... Best move he has shown in the match. He may go to the top rope, taking a little too much time here. He might splash off the top rope and finish off Williams with a championship. Well, those of you who felt Bam Bam would do it, this may be the moment. He's on the top rope. He can slide down with the splash. He's got yeah. the cover. He's got two. And oh, you would not believe that he would get kicked out of that. Only got a few times that he got out from a big splash from the top rope. That is absolutely amazing. Fans around the ring and around the stadium here are standing, roaring on the edge of their seats, watching these two grapplers decide this prestigious championship and the big belt. A big takedown by Dr. Two. Death. Can't and do it. Out. Out give belly to belly. Belly to belly, but give credit to Bam Bam Bigelow too because that looked like he's going to be it, and he kicked out too. Hey, these guys both want to close line up. Team Dr. Death Williams hit with a clothesline. Of course, he's trying to line him up for the Oklahoma Stampede. He's getting right with that stampede, but he can't knock down Bigelow. He cannot knock him. Down. He buckled him, Bruno. He's going again. He knocked him down. That time he knocked him down. Dr. Death. Who said it was time to end Orndorff's career a few weeks ago. Now trying to take care of Bigelow and win the belt. Bigelow into the ropes. The power, power, slam. power slams him down. That could be it. One, two, oh. oh. Man, I come, I close so many times. No problem. But oh, as we man. said, it's going to take something a little bit more than the ordinary to win the match. It's obvious both have let go with some of the best matches, and yet it has still not been enough. They're trading rights, and again, we're almost forgetting that blood is just pouring into the eyes of both of the competitors. Into the turnbuckle. This has been the match you'd have expected. Power slam. Bam Bam's hanging off to the top rope. That helped him. That saved him. Takes a leg to the midsection. What a matchup, and what an evening of wrestling.
here in Florida. The beach brawl has been outstanding. Greg, I thought that this was going to be one heck of a match, but I'll tell you what, it's turning out even more than I ever thought. Bigelow into the turnbuckle. Williams has got about 400 pounds. He power slams him wow. down. He hooks the leg. Three. And he's got the count. And he wins. Steve Williams is a new champion. Steve Williams is, wow, the Sports Channel America champion. Steve Williams, what a spectacular finish with a, some kind of a power slap. It took a number of them, but finally this last one he did, and he was able to hold Bam Bam down for the count. Is standing by with the new champion of the UWF. Let's go to him now for the interview. Steve, Dr. Jeff Williams is now the Sports Channel UWF Television Champion. Steve, congratulations. What do you have to say to the fans? Great! I'm going fabulous. I'll tell you one thing. Ben Ben Bigelow, you're a hell of an athlete. You gave me a hell of a fight out here. But I'll tell you what, the big daddy. Take it to you, I am the UWF champion, and I make it clear to everybody in the world, I am taking on every challenger in the world. Today on, I'm training, busting my tail to be the champion. All right, there you go. I will well, say, as president of the Universal Wrestling Federation, I will go on record right now, and I believe in my champion so much that we are willing for Steve Dr. Death Williams to challenge any champion in any federation across this country, Japan, Tokyo, Australia, anywhere. Steve Dr. Death Williams is the number one wrestler in professional wrestling today. Thank you all so much. And here we go. That's Greg. Herb Abrams with the announcement that the challenge is open to all. What an evening of wrestling we have just witnessed, Bruno San Martino. Well, catch your breath on this one. The Absolute main event drama. matchup, a bloody battle, and Steve Williams did exactly what he said he was going to do. He was determined at the outset. He knocked off Nikolai Volkov in the first round. He knocked off Steve Wild Thing Ray. He got here after the DQ, Gordy in Morocco to face Bigelow, and Williams showed that he is the true champion of the UWF. This wasn't a match, this was a war. We expected it was going to be a war, but I'll tell you what, this went on above our expectations. These two men were both hungry for the title, they both fought hard, many different times, caught in different situations, they both managed to escape, but ultimately, it was Steve Williams. He was the one who finally delivered the big blow. Okay, we have more from uh, Steve Dr. Death Williams, who's made his way back toward the dressing room. Our Brian Rico has caught up with him, and let's go to him for the interview. Brian. All right, Craig, you talk about a man putting his blood, sweat, and tears into winning a championship match. Your dreams have come true tonight. Congratulations, Steve. You know something? That ball got a lot of pain right now, and I'm hurting, I'm bleeding. But you know what? All that pain has gone away because I'm feeling so good right now. The UWF champion. That's right. I beat a man 400 pounds. Bam Bam Bigelow, a man that ain't afraid to walk in any room. He's a tough cookie, but I'll tell you what, he met his match tonight, and that goes for everybody in the world. I don't care if you're a bouncer, pro wrestler, pro football player, track, anything. 
Put your name on the dotted line, because I'm going after every challenge. Because you know what, Danny? Every time a man puts his name on the dotted line, that makes me work that much harder. Because I'll take on any challenger. Tonight, what a fabulous night. I'm here, Tampa, Florida, here with my family. You don't think I'm going to do some celebrating? I'm sure you will, Steve. I'll tell you what. Look at it. Look at it, cameraman. Get a close-up shot. Right here, Daddy. UWF champion. And you know who's wasted around? Dr. Death, the chiropractor delight. Polly, I got to go now. I'm going to go see another doctor. Wonderful. Congratulations, Steve Dr. Death Williams, the first ever UWF television champion. Here's the replay coming up here. Steve Dr. Death on his way. Up and over goes Bigelow. What a power slam here by Steve Dr. Death. Uno, dos, tres. A new champion. The first champion of the UWF, Steve Dr. Death Williams.